2D top-down site mechanic. Here's how it happened. Getting a simple version of this working is pretty easy. By doing a bunch of uniform ray casts, we can get a good idea of what the agent would see. More ray casts, more accuracy. In the game I was making, I knew the target would always be around the center of the world, so I could cut out the ray cast around the back of the agent, making it more accurate for the same amount of ray casts. Initially, I just used lines to show the site. They had the advantage of showing exactly what the agent could see, but it looked pretty bad and it broke the illusion that it could be a person. It felt more like a robot scanning its environment. Using a procedural mesh instead made the visuals way more customizable. Since we're in a jam and pressed for time, I just gave it a partially transparent gray color. You could very easily make this use custom shaders if you wanted to though. Generating the mesh is a lot easier than it might sound. Going around the raycast hits in order, we can create a triangle with the hit, the next hit, and the raycast origin. If you're following along at home, make sure to give your engine the points in the right order and set all the normals correctly, otherwise you'll get some pretty funky results. This here is all I managed to get done in the jam, but shortly after I came up with an idea on how to improve it. In particular, I really didn't like how jumpy it was around the edges of objects, and it also proved to be very inaccurate around tight gaps, forcing the map design to be really simple. So instead of doing a bunch of uniform ray casts, we're going to get all the vertices of all the objects in range and do three ray casts of each. One straight at it, and the other two slightly to either side. This, as well as a handful of uniform ray casts, will give us a almost perfect sight mechanic. In simple scenes, this will also give better performance, but as they get more complex, this diminishes. To help mitigate this, you could cut out the middle ray cast and ensure the offset for the side ones is really small, but be warned, going too small could cause some rounding errors, especially if you're far away from the world origin. And here it is back in the game. Finally, I want to give a shout out to Luna Gray. Luna made all the art for this project in record time. It was ridiculous, as soon as I could articulate an idea, they had already drawn it. You can check out some more of their work with the link in the description. Bye.